We are back with you today for a great treat. The first episode of the Malnourished Games. Today, we're going to separate the strong from the weak, the dead from the We weak. get it. We get it. People are going to die. If you would just quit chatting, we can get on with this thing. Instead, you want to be a nincompoop. As you can see, the tributes are loading into their spots at the mound. There's buff guy number one, looking as cool as a cucumber. And coming up beside him is... Wait, who is that? I don't remember her from the opening ceremonies. That's because she wasn't there. Holy crap! That was amazing! A free kill for all you folks at home watching. Now the other tributes have to be wondering, will they blow up if they step off? We are about to find out. The final countdown has begun. Eight, seven, six, Looks like we have our first kill of the game. Sacrificial Lamb has been killed by her own cluster teammate, Buff Guy Number One. He seems really sorry about it, though, didn't he? Hey, man. Every tribute for themselves. You gotta do what you gotta do to win. Take no prisoners, show no mercy. It's my kind of game. Stop following me! Wait, but I thought we could work together. Join forces? You know, you have a better chance of winning this thing. I don't need your help. I've been on my own since I was six years old. If anything, you'll just blow me down. Look, I promise I won't. Heck, I've got bread so you won't go... I don't need your stupid bread. There's plenty of things to eat out here in the wild. Yeah, but wouldn't a nice warm roll sound great to make a sandwich out of the deer you'll joyfully slaughter? You can stay for now. But if you slow me down or get in my way, I'll kill you myself. Fair enough. So, um, what's in the box? What do you think? Only one way to find out. Do, 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 do. Can I talk? Do, 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 oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Today I will be unboxing this Doritos Locos Frito Lay box. I wonder what's inside. Mm. It's cold. And the land is dark. And the moon. Mm. It's the only light mm. I see. Darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. This is pretty useful. What's in that? <laughs> oh, you want to see what's in my backpack, 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 backpack? Yeah. All right, well, let me see. Oh, it's a blanket. You know. No, it gets cold at night. I could probably make room for two. Hot air, hot air, so hot it hurts. I remember this tree. I climbed it every day since I was four years old. Every time my brother picked on me, I run away and climb up the big, strong branches. A plot ways are hurt and it's not like my mom can do anything about it. He was the apple of her eye. They all cut me up because my right arm was shorter than my left. But that's right, Edgar. You hear me? I want to be the apple to everyone's eye when I win this thing. The whole world's going to know my own pain. That's right. Wow, didn't see that coming. Neither did she. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic how huh. she hmm. ran off a cliff, considering she knows the area so well. What was that about a name? 
She said the world would know her name, but all we've got is runs off cliffs. Wait, what's that? Nope. I I just been told that no one cares and to move on. Mm. Looks like Cluster Four is calling it a night. Let's see if Catnip makes her move tonight while Peta sleeps. Maybe it'd be easier for her if she doesn't have to look into those sparkling blue eyes. Uh, so you got any brothers or sister? Not anymore. They all died in the war of 2050. The war over shortage of Kit Kats? There wasn't any guns involved. Yeah, they were allergic to Kit Kats. So. So what about you? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I like interpretive dance. Really? You show me some moves? No, I only do it in the privacy of my own home in front of my mirror. So. Okay. That's neat. Okay, so it's your turn. You have to tell me something that no one knows about you. Well, I like to dress up as the Pillsbury Doughboy and sing Never Gonna Give You Up. <laughs> okay, let's get this fire going. I to this girl in preschool. Yeah, you know, one day we were, we were all having a snack and I opened mine a little bit early and the other preschoolers, they looked at me and they said, Peta, you're gonna get in trouble. And my little preschooler mind freaked out and said they're gonna kill me. So I figured, you know, I had this little preschooler bucket list. I figured I'd scratch a couple things off. So I grabbed this girl, her name's Catherine, and I kissed her in front of everybody. You know, after that, we were close up until about third grade. Well, um, she moved to cluster five, but uh, before she left, she kissed two other guys. And you know what? After that, I was so heartbroken because we were so close. She took that little ceramic, just ripped it out, this little heart of mine, threw it on the ground. It was like a little ceramic piece made by some master craftsman after eight years of practice. And she just took it and she smashed it and stepped on it over her head. Mom also never loved me. I don't think my mother ever loved me either. We went on a family vacation a long time ago. This was before my brothers died in the war. We had planned to do all these fun things and everything was good until the last day when we went to the field of lollipops. I may have strayed a little further than my family than I should have. And when I went back, they weren't there. And eventually security kicked me out. So I had to go sleep in an alley with some big guy in a big black coat. And I went back the next morning expecting to see my family there and I'd run into my mom's arms and she'd apologize to me for leaving me behind, but she wasn't there. So I waited there until that night she finally showed up and she dragged me to the van and she was mad at me because I had wasted a day of our trip. <laughs> that was quite an emotional moment for those two. <coughs> Looks like something's uh, growing between Cluster 4. Uh, Something special? Looks like we got another sponsor sending a gift. Water. Nice. Cold. This sunny. 